I'm Kathleen Choi, a Korean chef now living in beautiful California. I travel in search of other chefs to challenge them in creating some of my favorite Korean recipes for the first time after I taste their signature dishes. My basket is packed with my magic five Korean ingredients, and I'm off to find my next challenger on this episode of Kathleen's Korean Food Challenge. This program was made possible by... The Hawaiian island of Oahu consists of many cultures that call this paradise home. Nowhere else in the world is there such a mix of Asian, Polynesian, and Western cultures living together. This unique blend of cultures on one island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean has created a culinary paradise of fusion food flavors from around the Pacific Rim. As I explore the island, I hope to discover some of these local fusion foods only found here as well as learn more about the rich native Hawaiian culture that originally populated these islands. But first, I thought I'd start out by visiting a true Hawaiian sculptor who shared with me a little of his rich Hawaiian family history. I'm here today at the beautiful Princess Kalani Sheraton Hotel with an excellent sculptor, Hamani. Wow, look at this sculpting. How are you? Be great. <laughs> great, this is beautiful. So how long did you take to uh, sculpt one of these? Um, I started this one uh, this morning, so... This you know, morning? Supposed to be done, so walk in the tea towel, and then after that, I have to send people and everything. Really? Pretty much a day. Uh oh, so. I'm distracting you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Uh, actually, um, some of them the symbolize of uh, all Hawaiian traditional belief of sure. kind of like, like gods? Uh, gods they had. For example, uh, all of them they have different names. Yeah. For example, the one with the sun coming out, uh, like this guy right here in the back. Mm -hmm. The name is, uh, his name is Kanaloa. Kanaloa. Yes. What does it mean? Symbolize of the healing. Oh, healing. Healing and hope. Anything like symbolizing like prosperity or something? Uh, actually, they uh, kind of like this guy right here, Kane. Yeah. Kane. Symbolize of those. Yeah, we have a sort of recent name right here. Oh, okay. The other symbolize of uh, prosperity. Pro prosperity? Yeah. His name is uh, Lono. Lono. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. God of knowledge. <laughs> After waiting for a passing island rain shower, I walked over to the international marketplace on the famous Kalakua Avenue in Waikiki. The selections were overwhelming with foods represented from all over the globe. I also noticed Korean foods were very popular since many Koreans live in Hawaii. But one of my favorite foods is Vietnamese pho soup. And I was told this is the place that serves a pho soup made with a few secret island ingredients. Okay, I gotta find a secret. So much flavor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And oh, this uh, is cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. And the uh, dry club and the star and oh, uh, star anise, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, the what's the fourth one? thing? I don't know what the, <laughs> the other one called. So how do you make the stock? I mean, do you uh, boil with pork bones? Boil, we boil with the, uh, no, with the beef bone. Beef bones? Yes. These are the noodles, uh, right? This is the noodle. Mm. We soak about four hours oh. and then drink it out like that. Okay. And then when you made the order, you just measure how much beef water. Oh, okay. Just to soften it, right? Yeah, soften it. Because when you put it in, it will soften it. Okay. And right. then, like, bone. And the combo with the biscuits. Biscuits? Yeah. Mm. And with the steak. Wow. That's uh, raw. Raw, but after you put the, the, cut, the yes. soup in, it cooks. Yes, cooked. exactly. Yes. Oh, that's uh, sliced onions? Sliced uh, brown onion. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, uh, this, uh, green 
green onion. Onion. And they did the tiny Ooh, pasta. Yes. Home grown yes. basil. Wow, really? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, I love basil. It's so fresh. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Chili. Wow, chili, yes. I need the spice. <laughs> They did the beef soup and they did the chicken Chicken soup. broth? Yeah, uh, chicken broth. Oh, wow. So it's chicken broth is called the seafood. That is the secret ingredient. Yes. <laughs> All right, ready to taste the first noodle soup. Ooh, looks so delicious. I put some basil in there now. And some people put sweet lemon, put the chili. Yes, if you want a little bit of the sour taste from the lemon. I noticed a booth that lets you select your own pearl oysters. Since my Korean name means best pearl, I had to check it out. I took Felicia's tip to select the ugliest oyster from the pile. So this is the eye of the oyster. It takes four years to grow the pearl inside. Wow. The beautiful mother of pearl determines mm. what color. Mm -hmm. And anywhere from a beautiful white to black. See how it goes? Yes. Sure. In the stomach of the oyster, and actually, mm. literally, is where we find it. Mm, there you go! That's a black, black one! one. <laughs> she likes the black pearl because it means adventure and power. Ooh, there you so go! So watch out! Ooh, it's a white one. No, it's like. You a, got two uh, pink! Oh. Love and beauty! There is nothing like experiencing a beautiful Hawaiian sunset on the sands of the famous Waikiki Beach. While daytime is for relaxing on the beach or activities, after dark, Waikiki comes alive with energy by offering everything from international shopping, beautiful local art galleries, upscale fusion restaurants, nightclubs and lounges, to local street vendors and performers. Tomorrow, I leave Honolulu to explore the rest of the island. I'm here at the farmer's market where all the locals and visitors come to get a taste of fresh produce and foods on Saturday morning. So let's check it out. Pristine Hanauma Bay, filled with local species of fish and sea turtles, not only offers the best snorkeling on Oahu, but its surrounding lush grounds are home to some of the island's many other local inhabitants. As I travel around the windward side of the island through the towns of Kailua and Kaneohe, I noticed that life here is simpler and quieter than the fast-paced Honolulu. Landmarks such as Chinaman's Hat and the majestic Kulau Mountain Range greet me with their natural beauty. Driving along the North Shore, I also discovered a unique place that offers some of the best shrimp on the island. Welcome to the Shrimp Jam! Aloha! Oh, wow. Can you handle a little bit of spice? All spice. Well, it's pretty darn good. Here's my spicy garlic shrimp. Whoa. Oh, it smells garlic. Love it. Okay, here's how you eat their shrimp. Here's the butter sauce. First, you suck on it.
Yeah, yeah my brother brings to me every time I, I own how I say own when yeah. we're delicious for something to, good to eat. Yeah, so he brings it. We call it Bye Bye Ole. Bye Bye Ole. The yeah. police would call it, you know, rat feet because it looks like a little tiny rat feet. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah. I can eat this. Watch out. <laughs> I have already acquired the taste so of Now what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I end my day with a glass of wine and enjoy a spectacular sunset at the North Shore's Turtle Bay Resort. It's hard not to appreciate the overwhelming beauty of this island. I can see why so many different people from many different cultures call this paradise home. After my quiet and relaxing time at the north shore of Oahu, I'm ready to head back to busy Waikiki in search of the ultimate seafood fusion dinner. The locals say the Blue Water Shrimp Fish Market is the place for some of the best seafoods the island has to offer. And I am about to find out why. Just when I thought I was done, Chef Glenn surprised me with his famous seafood pasta dish. I was in seafood heaven. The next day, I thought it would be fun to treat the local islanders to some of my favorite Korean seafoods. My local friends John, Leah, and Ray agreed to help me out in catching a fresh island squid so that I could prepare a Korean seafood dish for them. Hey, aloha, Kathleen. Hey, How are you doing? Good to see you. Are you going to get me some fresh seafoods from out there? We are going to try. Yeah. We're going to try our best. <laughs> I think I'm craving squid. If they're out there, we'll get them. <laughs> yeah. If they're there, Ray will find them. Can't wait to eat them. 
Awesome, thank yeah. you. Good job. <laughs> no, it's a chili uh, sauce called gochujang sauce. Very Korean. Mixed it with a little vinegar and okay. sugar and some miso paste, like a doenjang sauce. And you mix it all together with some sesame. It's a really good dipping sauce okay. for seafood. This is uh, what kind how of the Koreans eat it. It's green chili pepper. It's a hit and miss. Sometimes it's very spicy, sometimes really? it's not. So I'll just give all right. I'll just uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll tell you. So you dip it in here. Is this batch hot? <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Yeah? That's I like seafood. <laughs> Me too. Mm. What about you? I know you're not a big fan of squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like I like the sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce really like, yes, yeah. it up. Yes. That's the key. Oh, yeah. And you? <laughs> it's delicious. I love it all. Yeah? <laughs> yep. I don't normally like spicy food, but it has a nice bite, but it's not too hot. It's very good. from the beautiful Paradise Cove, voted as one of the best luau's in Oahu. An authentic luau is one of the best ways to experience Hawaiian culture firsthand. And the luau at Paradise Cove on the leeward side of Oahu allows visitors to explore an authentic Hawaiian village as well as participate in many traditional Hawaiian activities. Native Hawaiians used to call this feast Paina or Ahaina. The name luau was popularized in the late 1800s, which means the leaves of the taro plant. For me, a peaceful outrigger paddle around the cove sounded like the perfect way to work up an appetite for the amazing Hawaiian buffet that will soon be served. What time is the sunset like? Seven? before the Asian style of cooking. Now our village people make their way around the arena for a bit. The meal was outstanding. Delicious traditional Hawaiian staple foods like kalua pork, rice, and poi were served. The only thing missing for me was a little kimchi and kochujang sauce on the side. The evening's entertainment was also unsurpassed and the beautiful costumes looked stunning on the dancers. The dances take you on a historical journey where you experience the many different cultures of the Pacific Islands. Of course, being an island girl, 
I had to get in on the act and show off my Polynesian dancing skills. My magical journey to Oahu inspired my culinary tastes. Never have I seen such a wonderful diversity of cuisines that complemented each other so well. It's like my taste buds went on their own vacation. I can now better appreciate what the local Hawaiians call the Aloha Island spirit. Now that I've shared foods that their ancestors brought from the many different islands and cultures from around the Pacific. And not surprisingly, Korean foods are very popular here in Hawaii as they include many of the key Asian ingredients that have influenced the cuisines on these islands, from spices and herbs to seafood and rice. I can even taste the aloha spirit in these amazing island foods. Aloha! Be sure to join me on my next Korean food challenge.